Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well and feeling good today. Sorry, I have to change the narrator for this video due to a little technical problem. I hope you can still enjoy it. As always, it is a pleasure to have you with me on my channel, where we explore the secrets of our world and unravel the mysteries of the past and more. After hours of research and exploration across various sources, I've uncovered some truly mind-blowing revelations that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history. And be sure to check out the description box for more fascinating topics that you won't want to miss. Now, I'll admit that my video quality may not be top-notch, but I can guarantee that the content is worth it. Some may call it revisiting old ideas, but I believe it's important to question the narratives that have been fed to us and explore all possibilities. If you want to stay in the loop on exclusive updates, be sure to join my Telegram channel and don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case anything unexpected happens. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The history of the Etruscans is a subject of significant intrigue and speculation among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Despite their undeniable influence on the development of Roman culture and technology, the origins and practices of this enigmatic civilization remain shrouded in mystery. One of the most vexing questions surrounding the Etruscans is why their highly advanced society has been so poorly documented in the historical record. Many historians have pointed to a deliberate effort by those in power to suppress or discredit the achievements of this ancient people, as their cultural practices and innovations challenged the dominant narrative of Roman superiority and cultural hegemony. This suppression of the true history of the Etruscans has also led to the spread of pseudoscientific myths, such as the notion that Etruscan writing is unreadable. This idea, which has been widely discredited by linguists and scholars, is often used to discredit the significant contributions that the Etruscans made to the development of writing, art, architecture, and other cultural practices that continue to influence our world today. One of the most compelling theories about the Etruscans is that they had a direct connection to Slavic culture and writing. While this idea remains controversial and subject to debate, many historians have pointed to the significant similarities between the two cultures, including their use of similar alphabets and the sharing of key cultural practices and beliefs. Despite the ongoing controversies and debates surrounding the true history of the Etruscans, it is clear that this ancient people had a profound impact on the development of Western civilization. By shedding light on the rich cultural heritage of the Etruscans and challenging the distorted narratives that have long been accepted as official history, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the diverse and complex tapestry of human experience that has brought us to where we are today. Anyway, let's talk about celebrities. The 2023 Grammys, Hollywood openly and clearly showing the entire world which idol do they worship. As you know, these modern award ceremonies are highly choreographed affairs used to carry out a specific narrative. This year, the star of the show was definitely Sam Smith. Throughout the show, Smith carried out a ritualistic drama that encompasses the occult elite's favorite obsessions. Firstly, before the show, Smith looked as if he was the master of ceremony, complete with a scepter and a top hat, where everyone was dressed in ritualistic red. Red is the color of sacrifice in occult rituals, and this color code is used all over the music industry. At the ceremony, Smith and Kim Petras won an award for their song Unholy. Kim wearing a red wedding gown complete with a veil, ritualistically married to the industry and while accepting the award. The performance began with Smith and his minions forming a magic circle on stage. As a fire burns in the background, Smith puts on a top hat with devil horns. This is officially a tribute to Satan on national television. Meanwhile, Kim is inside a cage during the entire performance while singing about wanting a Balenciaga daddy. Despite being celebrated as a Grammy winner, the cage is a strong reminder of Petra's actual status in the industry. A slave used to push a narrative. 
At the end of the performance, Smith is consumed by his circle of minions. The message is, selling your soul ends in self-destruction. Taking place one week after the Grammys, the Brit Awards continued its ritualistic narrative. During his Brit Awards performance, Smith wore the same exact horned hat as in the Grammys. However, instead of being red, his entire outfit was black. As explained in previous videos, in ritualistic color codes, black represents the end result of the sacrifice represented by the color red. In other words, Sam Smith was at the center of a ritual that spanned several events. Other than Paris Fashion Week and the Grammys, the other main media event of the past weeks was the Super Bowl. And, yep, the highly anticipated halftime show was all about the color red. Rihanna was fully draped in red during the halftime show, considering that the big takeaway from this performance was that Rihanna was pregnant. Her wearing red, the color of sacrifice, was rather odd. To confirm the fact that she's still an industry slave, Rihanna made the Illuminati hand sign at the end of her performance, using her red gloves. If you do not recall this moment, it's because cameras cut away from her when she did it. Before I continue the video, please give it a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. One Eye. As usual, the One Eye sign was all over the place in the last month, constantly reminding us that they are controlling what we see in mass media and who gets to be a celebrity. Hunter Schaefer is the remarkable face of Muggler's new fragrance. And that remarkable face is half hidden because the One Eye sign is more important to the face. Grammy nominee Glorilla was recently featured in NY Mag. In this pic, she covers an eye with one hand while covering her mouth with the other. By doing so, she tells you what being an industry slave is all about, blinded and silenced. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time... <laughs>